Hello, this is day two of Vlogmas. Very late, I know. <laughs> gonna wear some man sunglasses now. Oh, that's so much better. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna trick ride on Boo. I haven't trick ridden in like three months. So I'm just gonna practice and walk and trot. Um, and I wanna start practicing once a week again. I didn't get time to practice much as I was finishing my dissertation for my masters. And I was like show jumping every weekend. So kind of let the trip ride and slip to the side. But yeah, now that I have a little bit more time, Boo and I are gonna retake the old uh, trick rider. <laughs> Favorites, Bernie's hiding. <laughs> Go on. Oh, she's so high up. How did I ever? How did I ever do this? My muscles. I'm gonna be so crippled tomorrow. <laughs> Come this side. You're hardly gonna have to get me to show you how it's done, like yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Never lost it, kiddo. Never lost it. <laughs> Gotta train equally. Oh, that side was a bit harder. <laughs> it's crazy. I feel like I've literally lost like all my trip riding muscles. <laughs> That's so, so bad. Go on. I feel like I'm going to have used all my energy before I even like finish doing all my mounts. That's better. It's like whatever. <laughs> that side's so bad. <laughs> so because I haven't trick ridden in forever, I'm gonna run through four or five tricks in stand just to practice the technique because that's the main part of trick riding is that the technique is correct. Once you have the technique correct, if you can do it in stand, then you can do it in walk, trot, and canter. Um, canter is actually sometimes the easiest um, because the momentum of the horse helps you. But yeah, so I'm just going to practice standing up. Very looks very enthused about this whole process. Man, good girl. Um, where are you going? There's like nowhere. I need Boo's head up because otherwise I'll just like tip topple over. My earring, ow! <laughs> Darren like can't even do a puller. Yeah, go. Gonna practice dead man now. Very important that I practice this in stand for safety because if all of my straps are not in the right place, I will throw myself off and the straps will not catch me and then I will head plant the floor. Which did happen once in a show with Ben Atkinson. My strap came unclipped and I threw myself off at a gallop and hit the ground. <laughs> it's not do that today. This is like such a nice stretch for my back. Is that nice, babe? It's like, yeah, rub my tummy.
Oh. Burn out attempt. You want to step step your left foot level with her left front foot, close to her hoof, and then swing. Like you've got to like anchor your elbow in in front of the saddle. Master. Okay, he's gonna master it first go. Apparently, head down as well when you swing. <sighs> Ta-da! Yeah, that was good. That was more smooth. Try the other side. Gonna try the other side. Limber up, Bernard. Limber up. You're so tall, like you can just like step onto her. Not all of us are six foot two. Ah, you can't. <laughs> Try again. That side looked like it was gonna be better. Yo! Ah, sorry, man. <laughs> that was cheating. <laughs> I got a bit stuck. Yeah, step into it like that. That's good. Nah, no, sure I get fucked. Like literally. You've got sticky pants on, they are the worst thing ever. Show me your sticky pants. Yeah, those tried to trick riding those once. Couldn't do a single thing. A, th a single thing is what I meant to say. So just finished trick riding, there's your Anno. Alright, sausage. I hadn't trick ridden in like three months. Um I felt pretty useless to be honest. I practiced like five tricks. Bernard, Bernie, he's not listening to me. He practiced standing up. I didn't manage to get that on video because I was leading him because he's just learning that trick. But yeah, I, uh, I felt pretty useless. So I'm gonna start practicing once a week again. Hopefully my muscles will come back. And I get a little bit better. I only managed to practice like, what do you want? I only managed to practice five tricks. Got pretty hot then. Urano's having two days off. He had his hox injected yesterday and he had some mesotherapy on his back ready for international season. We got checked in yesterday. She was happy with his front legs and he had a little bit of swelling in his left hock. Um, but he was signed, but she just um, injected the hock to help with the inflammation. As he's a little bit of an older man now, aren't you, buddy? He's like almost 18. He's putting so much weight on my shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, no videos of Urano today, but I am gonna have my first dressage lesson with Gabbana. That's Booby. Hello, Booba. Give us a smile. Yes. I don't have any treats, sorry, so mean. Here's Banana. See, I'm having my first ever dressage lesson with her. So I'm excited about that. Should be able to get some videos. What do you think, Bean? just the rhythm. A little bit active. Yes, good. Good. Much better. You're on the you can think about it. Yes. Yeah, good, exactly. There exactly. You when you get that feeling that you can release there, she have the weight on the hind. And yeah, this you can nice. this you can increase every training you do, you know what I mean? Very nice camper behind it. Super behind. And if she's she's strong, yeah. half hold relax. Half a release. Just like it's like you don't give her an option to hang in your hands, right? Yeah. But don't exactly. That's so good. Very good. So nice behind. Good. And try to bring her back. Try to get a little bit active so you can get the hind, the weight on the hind again. Find the rhythm. Nice and active, just still not fit in with the hind. Into the neck. Yeah, I get easy for that. This is so supple in the hind legs, you know? Yeah. Try to go over again.
know in the when I when I start this I'm like oh god that looks heavy. Now it's like oh it looks nice. But you have to just remember to every time she gets heavy, I hold this and just like oh. Very good. So I just finished my dressage lesson. It was my first lesson with her. Um, I struggle a little bit on with her, a little bit on the left side to get like the same like flexion through her body. Um, but that actually comes like not through the neck. It's just that she likes to bring her quarters into the left on the left side. Um, so that's why I don't feel like I get as much bend through the neck because her quarters are in. So we worked a little bit like where I carry my left hand a little bit higher and keep more inside leg on. Um, and just doing a lot of like changes in tempo and the trot and the canter and a lot of more transitions. Um, we didn't do so many transitions today, so we were mainly riding forward and back in the canter. Um, so yeah, it was a good place to start and it's given me a lot of homework to work on. I'll probably voice over the dressage lesson clips because we had the little coachy things in our ears so you can't probably hear anything. So yes, I completed Vlogmas. Stay tuned. Bye guys. <laughs>